Welcome to Workshop Topics, getting the workshop ready for a new arrival and using some steam pipe adapters. I finally fitted the wall plaque that my daughter Charlotte bought me for Christmas and I think it looks quite smart on the door. I've had to clear quite a large space in the workshop because something very large should be arriving here soon. It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze but I think it should just fit in the space that I've cleared. And to give you some idea of the size of the cleared space, here's a shot of me stood in it. Anyway, more about that in another video coming soon. In this video I'm going to show the making of some adapters. As you can see there are three different tap sizes on the turret on my test boiler. And now by using these union adapters I can extend the possibilities of connecting from the turret to many different types of steam engine. As well as being able to connect to more than one steam engine at the same time. And the good news is these special union adapters are now available from Blackgates Engineering. The Blackgates web address is on screen at the moment. For me, they are an essential part of any model engineer's workshop. I've used them frequently for many years. In this clip, I'm showing the adapters fitted to the steam taps. On the right hand side is a quarter inch to three sixteenths of an inch adapter. The middle tap is fitted with a three sixteenths to five thirty two or four millimeter pipe adapter. The small tap on the left is currently fitted with a one eighth of an inch pipe adapter. In this video I'm going to make some pipe adapters which will allow me even greater flexibility for different pipe sizes when using the boiler. This one for instance is going to be a quarter by 40 to 5 16 by 32 adapter. And here in the foreground of the image is a 3 8 by 32 to a 5 16 by 32 pipe adapter. Time now to silver solder them together. I'm in the outer part of the workshop and the silver soldering process begins. I've applied the Easy Flow number 2 flux and I'm using Silver Flow 55 silver solder and here I'm doing it very wrong. Oh no, the silver solder is running everywhere. What a terrible job. But never mind, I'll carry on regardless. The usual process is to heat the parts until they turn red and the flux takes on a watery appearance. Not too bright red though, otherwise the pipe union adapter will melt. So what am I going to do about the one on the top left? Simple, I just cut off the pipe union on the bandsaw, then I lightly cleaned up the end of the pipe using my 1 inch belt sander, reapplied the Easy Flow number 2 flux and silver soldered it properly. Normally at this stage I would put the pipes into my acid bath, but for the purposes of the video I'm cleaning the piping manually this time. First of all using Scotch Brite and then I cleaned them up on my polishing spindle. And now the pipe adapters look like this. And in the next clip I'll be showing you the options when fitting them to the steam turret taps. The first option is 3 8 by 32 to 5 16 by 32. But I could turn this adapter round and fit it to the centre tap, then it would be 5 16 by 32 to 3 8 by 32. The problem is that the pipe from the steam engine would have union nuts on both ends. The solution is simple. Just fit a double union adapter to the size of nut that you're using. These double union adapters are also available from Blackgates Engineering. The reason for making these adapters is simple. It will allow me to run more than one steam engine from my Stuart 504 boiler that I use as a test boiler in the workshop. The second piece of pipe can either be used this way round with a double union for 5 16 by 32 on the end or it can be fitted to the smaller tap the other way round. In the size of models that I work with, the most common steam union is 5 16 by 32, which are normally used for 3 16 of an inch diameter pipe. With this system, I can now run three steam engines that use 3 16 of an inch diameter pipe from the turret. The centre tap has a thread of 5 16 by 32 on it, I don't need an adapter for that. In this clip, I'm fitting the 5 16 by 32 to quarter 40 adapter to the small quarter by 40 steam tap. All I need to do now to complete the trio of pipe unions is fit a double 5 16 by 32 union on the end of the adapter pipe. As the centre valve has a 5 16 by 32 thread on it anyway, it doesn't need an adapter. I need to make another adapter to fit this. This is the check valve on the boiler, which is a big one. At the moment it's fitted with a blanking nut 
to prevent it from dribbling while steam has been raised. I need to make one more pipe adapter and bend it at 90 degrees so I can fit a second 5 16 by 32 union nut with the corresponding 3 16 cone to the check valve. This is ideal for connecting my large brass steam pump to this boiler. Whenever I fit double unions, I have a really bad habit of not tightening them up, and I don't find out that they leak until I'm steaming. I'll rephrase that, I don't find out that they're leaking until they're connected up as part of a steam line and the tap is opened. Most of the steam engines that I work on are normally fitted with either mechanical lubricators or displacement lubricators. For my test boiler, it might be a good idea to fit a displacement lubricator to the turret somehow. This is one from Microcosm. I don't like it really, it's a displacement lubricator with a glass body. And it looks more like a piece of medical equipment than a steam fitting. However, as you can see in this clip, it fits perfectly onto the quarter 40 threads per inch union, which in turn connects to the centre steam tap, which is 5 16 by 32. So this at least will allow me to run a steam engine using this boiler with a displacement lubricator fitted in the steam line. I don't like the design of this lubricator though, I'm sure it works okay. The main parts that fit into the body are on some sort of a metric thread, and they appear to use very thin silicone washers, so they're never really that rigid, and I don't have any copper washers this size. But it will suffice for a quick test on a steam engine that doesn't have a lubrication system. And even though it looks like a piece of medical equipment, I don't suppose it matters on my test boiler. That's it for this episode. All I'd like to say, as usual, is stay safe, stay well, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.